Not good now. What's up guys? Welcome to my new video. I'm back again. I told you I'd keep going. I'm gonna stick with it. Uh, today we're talking accessories, photography accessories. So I've done some what's in my camera bag videos before. I did like a regular one and then I did an updated one and then I did one about basketball. Um, I thought I would talk about accessories because then I'm talking about the bodies and the lenses and stuff like that. But what about everything else? Because sometimes when I go to a big event, I'm taking a lot of gear, sometimes all three of these bags right here. So there's a hell of a lot of accessories in here, and I could probably fit my actual camera gear in kind of probably just this case or even half of this case. But I have a lot of accessories too, some of which I find really useful. Most of the stuff in these bags I will take with me everywhere just in case. And those are the kind of accessories that so often come in useful. You won't use it for six months and suddenly there's a situation when you need it and you think, oh, thank God I got that in my bag. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's get into it. But before we get into the actual video itself, guys, thanks again for watching. Um, if you enjoy the video, if you like it, please do hit that thumbs up button. Uh, it means a lot to me and it helps me out a lot more than you probably realize. Um, if you haven't already, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button down the bottom. I really appreciate that. I'm really keen to, to kind of, you know, get more interaction going with these videos. And, and I think that's probably the key to, to help us. If you have subscribed already, thank you very much. Please don't forget to hit that bell down the bottom there, just next to the subscribe button. That'll give you a notification every time I upload a new video. And last piece of plugging, guys, don't forget to check out my other social media channels. I'm on Facebook. You can find me at Rob Sambles Photo. I'm also on Twitter, at Rob Sambles Photo again. And lastly, Instagram. I actually have two Instagram accounts, guys. One is at Rob Sambles Photo. The other one is Scorchers Photog. Um, I'm going to put those both up on the screen right here in the middle. Check those out, guys. So, I think the best way to do this, guys, is probably just get into it. I'm just going to go through it one bag at a time, talk you through what I've got. I haven't, like, really prepped this too much, so I'm literally just going to be, like, digging stuff out of my bag as we go. Um, if anything raises more questions as we go, please just feel free to comment on the video. Let me know. Tell me if you think any of the accessories are weird or if you've got any more questions or maybe you've got a really useful sports uh, photography or travel landscape photography accessory that I don't have and you think I need it. Let me know about that as well. So, let's go. First couple of bits, they're not actually in the bags themselves, they're normally like clipped onto the side of the bag or something like that. Two bits really. First of all, my monopod. Uh, this is a carbon fibre monopod, really strong. I actually think this is... You know, I don't know what brand this is. Maybe this is a Velbon or... I think it might be Velbon, but it's carbon fibre. It's the twisty lock one. I prefer that, I find it much quicker to do rather than the, um, like the clip ones. Generally just my preference. I've also got this fitted with the um, the quick release clamp at the top because the lenses have the quick release plates on like right here for example and that just clips into the top right there so I generally find that easy to use so I will always have this with me even if I don't think I'm going to use it it's normally in the boot of the car um, it just means it's there um, and if not I guess it's a bit of a self-defense mechanism I'm joking about that guys, I don't, I'm not promoting violence on my photography channel. I also have my Gorillapod, um, so this is like the flexible tripod, this is really handy sometimes. I'll use this with football, if I do like behind the goal uh, remotes I would use this normally. Um, sometimes it's a bit inflexible so you have to kind of get it just how you want it and get the right angle. At the moment it's got the little clamp on the top for my phone, uh, sometimes when you guys see me doing my videos and my vlogs um, I'm doing it on here, I hold this and, and this is how I, I do some of it so that's what that clamp on the top is. So let, let's do this case first, eh? I'm just going to push this one out of the way so you guys can get the right, the right view. So what do we have in here? Um, like I said, I'm not going to touch on bodies and lenses for this video, guys. This is more about the accessories. So let's start over this side here. Tape. I always have tape with me. The orange tape is like my labelling tape. Quite a few of you guys have asked me why I have the orange tape on my cameras and lenses. It's just to identify real quick that it's mine and I always have some spare just in case. And a roll of gaffer tape. I always have this too. Really handy for various things. Um, if you guys are into your photography, you probably know how gaffer tape can be useful. So I'll always carry these two bits with me. 
come over to the front here. Um, so this is like my um, kind of eyepiece for the viewfinder on the back of the camera. Now, to be honest, I rarely use this. Um, the circumstances when I would use this would be if I was shooting outdoors and it was a really bright day. You know, sometimes when it's really bright out there and you're struggling to see the image properly on the back of your camera, this goes over the screen and you can view it easily. I sometimes use that if it's a really bright day and I need to check my images whilst I'm shooting football or, or anything else outdoors. Let's come down over here. I've got a flash. I won't talk too much on the details of flash, um, but I, I always have my flash uh, in here. And along with the flash, I've got this little diffuser thing which sits on the top if I want to. I'll always carry those. I will generally always have a flash with me, even if it's not an event where I specifically think I'm going to need flash. You never know, just in case, I will always have um, the flash with me. I'm going to leave this stuff out as we go, guys, so you guys can, um, can see and you can, you can keep on looking in the corners of the video if you need to. So we'll do that over here. Oh, this is like a funny little rain cap kind of thing. So this is like a rain cap that would go over the end of your lens. Uh, this would fit my 300 and my, my 7200 as well. Um, maybe if I'm out in the rain and I'm, I'm not going to be shooting for a little while, I could just pop that over the end of the lens and it stops it from, uh, from getting wet. You know what it's like? And even with the big lens hood, sometimes the rain kind of drives in the front. When you're shooting, there's not much you can do apart from having a good rain cover. But in between, I will use that maybe just to cover over the front um, if I need to leave it for a little while. It's coming to the back over here. I've got some filters. Uh, there's actually just one filter in here. This is an ND filter. Uh, this is, I, in fact, actually, no, that's not an ND filter. I think it's a UV one. But um, I rarely use this one, to be totally honest with you. I've got some more filters over in this bag over here. So in the back here, I have some spare batteries, so that's spare batteries for my flash. Uh, an empty case for spare batteries. In fact, that's probably the case for the batteries that are currently in the flash. And I also have two bits. So I've got my remote triggers. I've talked about these a lot before in my videos, guys. My remote triggers are right here. And I've also got one of these little lens pens, which I think is really cool. This is just a simple one from Jessup's. This end here is like the little kind of foam thing for rubbing like the smaller marks off the front of your lens. And then the other end is the pop-out brush. Really handy again. I use this all the time just to, to keep the stuff um, clean. Anything else on the back there? Nope. Oh no, I do. That's just the cable that goes with the triggers. So the one that sits on the camera, you plug that in so it can trigger the actual um, shutter. The rest of it there is cameras and lenses, guys. So we're not going to talk about that today. What else have I got in the top right here? So I have a torch. Um, the torch is there just for um, if I'm packing this case in the dark or if I'm taking stuff out in the dark, which I could be sometimes like at the end of an evening football game, something like that. I will use the torch just so I can see what's going on in my case, make sure I've not forgotten anything. Really handy accessory to have. Um, what else have I got in here? I've got like a multi-tool thing in here. Um, so this is just a multi-tool I always have with me. It's got everything from like a mini set of pliers um, it has a little knife in the back there, it's got some hook bits, various things, just handy just to have, even if it's just to cut my gaffer tape, if for some reason my, my fingers have gone weak that day, really handy accessory to have. I've got some more tape in here, just electrical tape. Oh, this is quite handy too. So this is like a bit like another multi-tool, but this is an Allen key multi-tool. So this has loads of different size Allen keys in it. This is really handy. A lot of the stuff, like some of the um, bits on the tripod, which is actually, my camera's on the tripod right now filming this, but also some of the bits on the plate, so like the plate that fits into the bottom of the lens, for example. Some of them need Allen keys, so I always have this with me just in case I need to tighten anything, loosen anything, anything like that. Let's leave it out. Got a marker pen over here, just a black marker pen. Just in case, I can't recall the last time I used that to be honest, but you never know. I talked about the tape up here. Oh, and there's an in-car USB charger as well, just in case. I do actually have, I don't have it with me actually. Oh, you know what, it's in the boot of my car. I have an in-car battery charger, just in case, and that would plug into here and charge in my car. You can also charge your phone, anything with a USB from this as well, so it's real handy to have. So I'll always have that one with me. Okay guys, that's the first bag. Let's get on to the second one. Okay guys, bag number two, my backpack. So generally speaking, um, if I'm going to a, um, a smaller event, so maybe um, like if I'm just going to a smaller basketball game or something like that, I might take just the backpack. 
if I'm going to bigger events, I tend to take both. If I've got the car, I normally will take both anyway. And then this case and this bag will normally stay in the car. And then this is the one I actually will take into the venue or literally to like court side, pitch side, um, wherever I am. So sometimes I will transfer some of these bits into here. So I've got them um, out actually uh, at the side of the event. So two bits really. In the main bag itself, what have we got in here? A couple of different bits. I have a memory card holder. This has got loads of memory cards. This is a think tank one. I really like this. Um, I can't think what it's actually called. It's called a uh, Pixel Pocket Rocket. And you can put all your memory cards in there. It's really handy. I always have that with me. Um, you know, I tend to use this everywhere. Sports events, this is what I use when I go away. Everything, I keep my memory cards in there. Handy tip, guys. I've also put my business card in the back here with my contact details. Cool, if ever you lost this, you know, you'd be real probably sad, um, you know, could affect your work, all kinds of things. So I put in there and on the back of this business card, I've written reward for return. So if I do lose this and someone finds it, maybe they'll be good willed, they'll see the reward and, and hopefully they'll, they'll return it to me. What else have we got? So my remote trigger, um, by remote trigger, there's a wired one I mean, a remote shutter release, cable shutter release. Rarely use this for sports, but I do use this a lot for my landscapes and stuff. You guys have seen my other recent videos where I've shot some landscapes, I use this. Just so that you can trigger the camera without having to touch it at all. It reduces the um, vibrations, anything like that, and just means you're not jogging that camera at all. And the remote trigger, really handy accessory to have. A must really if you want to shoot any kind of landscapes, anything like that. Got my camera strap in here. Um, so this is just one half. This is actually a dual camera strap, but sometimes I use one half. Um, I think I've told you guys in previous videos, it's not actually a Black Rapid strap, but it's like a Black Rapid strap. And I've actually attached the Black Rapid accessories to it, um, so it screws in the bottom of the camera. So the camera strap. Cleaning kit. So I had that little lens pen over here somewhere, but I've also got some other bits too. In here is a brush, a cloth, and an air blower as well. Again, just in case, guys, you never know when you get some dust somewhere you don't want it, something which you need to clean out, you've got that with you. Uh, that's a lens, so we're not going to talk about that one. Cool, we'll go to the top. So in the top here, I showed you guys filters earlier. I've got some more filters in here. So I've got two sets of filters, two different sizes. Um, in very simple terms, they're roughly the same. They're ND filters, like three different grades of ND filters in there. And in here I have, I think, six different grades of ND filters, I do. I've also got another lens pen in here. It came with this case, which is why I've got that. Uh, the, the reason I've got two sets is they're different diameters, different sizes. So this one I believe is the 70, yeah, so 77 mil. Um, so those would fit my, um, I'm getting a lens out, I'm breaking the ruler set. Um, those would fit my 10 to 22 Canon. And then over here, these ones are slightly smaller. I think these are 72, yeah, these are 72 mil, um, which fit my Sigma 18 to 35, which I'm actually using to film this video right now. So two different sets of filters, ND filters. What else have we got in here? Oh yeah, so I get so these are laptop accessories. Let me talk about the laptop. So my laptop's in the back of this bag, has like a cool case. We won't worry about the laptop, um, but it's in there. But what I do have is two different memory card readers. Now, the reason I have two is because I always want a backup of everything. If I'm out there pitch side, court side, and I'm trying to send images live, and something goes wrong, I, I don't want to be stuck, I need a backup. So my main one, which I always use first, this is a Lexar USB 3.0, um, really good. Um, it's a dual slot reader, so you can do CF cards and SD cards. Lexar Professional, really good memory card reader. It's fast, um, I like it, um, I use this all the time. I also have a cheap one, I think I just got this from Amazon or something. A real simple one as a backup if I need to. My laptop actually also has an SD card slot, so I guess I've got a third option there, but I tend to use the, um, the memory card readers as my first point of call. This one, the Lexar Professional um, USB 3, uh, will always be my first choice, assuming it's all working fine. What else have I got on the top here? Ah, oh, one of these, this is handy. So, um, you guys have probably seen some of my videos. I have a, a rain cover, um, like a, a decent one, but it's always good to have some kind of backup. Now, this is a uh, an Optech USA uh, rain sleeve. It's just like a piece of plastic, really, that folds out um, and covers over your lens. Um, quite cheap, quite easy, literally just kind of folds out and you can cover your lens with it. It's always great to have as a backup. Um, sometimes if I'm using two bodies in the rain, I tend to avoid trying to use two bodies in the rain just because it's, I just, 
I hate shooting in the rain, guys. I hate shooting in the rain, but if you have to, you have to. Um, so sometimes I will um, use that as my second camera body or my cover for my second camera body so I can have my main rain cover on my 300mm. We got anything else in the top? Oh yeah, we do. So, <laughs> so I always keep these in my bags. These are my accreditations. I've got a couple of different ones. I've got my BBL one, uh, it's my Fulham Pass. Um, a few different bits which I always keep in the bag. I've turned up too many times without stuff like this. I'm lucky with a lot of these kind of venues, people know me, so sometimes I've, I've been okay, but, but they have to be strict, they have to follow the rule. That's what the rules are there for. So I've got to have these with me. Um, so I keep these in this bag. I mentioned this is always the bag that goes everywhere with me, so they go in this bag, so I know I can't forget them, just in case. I think that's everything. That's everything in that bag, guys. Two bags down, one more to go. Onto the home stretch here, guys. So my third bag. Um, so this bag's quite specific. Um, this is like my remote camera bag. So I don't take this all the time with me. I wouldn't take this to like an event or um, I would, wouldn't would generally take this to football. If I'm doing a remote camera football, it'll be on a smaller tripod, something like that. So really this tends to be a basketball related bag because there's everything I need in here. Um, to better set up my remote cameras, especially if I want to attach anything to the backboard unit. I'm going to do a video about that, guys, at some point. Um, that's one of the video ideas that I need to do, um, so you guys will see that soon. But let's get into the detail of what's in here. So first of all, I have the clamps. Uh, so I have um, a, this is very battered and beaten up, so I apologise for the, um, the state of how it looks, guys. But I have two Manfrotto Magic Arm clamps. Now this one, one end of it is the actual unit that's attaching to the camera. This end of it is a clamp, so I can use this to, to clamp onto stuff, and it, um, it goes nice and solid. It doesn't move when you've got the lever pulled. It all locks down in one place. So I have number one of those, and then I have a second one of those as like a fail-safe, a slightly different one. This, is a man, this isn't actually technically a magic arm, I don't think. This is like a Manfrotto support arm, which I will use um, to attach uh, as a backup so one end of this will attach to the basket unit as well and the other end will attach to the first clamp as like a reserve just in case something was to go wrong with that one it was to fail it's not going to fall down this one's there to hold it up but either end of this needs two clamps so we have two more clamps in here one clamp which goes on one end of it another clamp which goes on the other end of it so that again as I said that one attaches to the unit that one attaches to the first clamp um, as a good backup so there's a second one there to back it up, but I also need to make sure it's really safe. So I have in here a security cable. It's got all kinds of like carabiners and stuff attached to it. I wouldn't have all of these. I just keep them all attached together so they're safe. But this is like a safety cable. So this would be attached to the entire unit and then attached up to the actual basket sanction or something. So worst case scenario and everything failed, it's still not gonna fall all the way down. It would just fall like, if I attach this up high, it's gonna fall like four, six inches and then it will just hang. Um, just to make sure no one gets hurt, my gear doesn't get damaged. Um, not as important, of course, as someone getting hurt, but hey, I don't want my gear damaged. So the safety cable is really important. I always keep a few cable ties in here um, just to help secure stuff or tie stuff down if I need to as well. Um, I think that's everything that's in there. It is, oh, there's a few like, more clamps and stuff in there, um, which again are just backups for that there. So there we go, guys. Three bags worth of accessories down. Now, I should also say, guys, this isn't all the accessories I use. I have other stuff too, of course. I've got chairs, stools, trolleys, um, various bits like that. I have a lot of stuff that I always keep in the boot of my car. Some of that stuff I just mentioned. So at some point, I'm going to do another small video about, like, you know, all... Oh, you know, what do I keep in the boot of my car? Um, we'll talk about that too. I'm going to do a video relating to some of this stuff here as well. And I talked about the flash. I also have other bags, which is like my lighting gear. So my lighting stand and I have another flash and umbrellas and stuff like that, which I use for lighting. I don't tend to do too much stuff with lighting, um, especially for my sports work. But I will at some point do a, bag, uh, do a bag review where I go through and I talk about all of my lighting bags as well.
Guys, I hope you found it interesting. That's all of my photography accessories. That's getting into all the detail of the stuff I have in my bags. Um, so what's in my camera bags for um, photography accessories, I suppose. There's a whole pile of it here in front of me now. Um, it came out of three cases worth, so I guess there was always going to be. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Please comment and let me know if you enjoyed it. Like I said before, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Guys, keep shooting. I'm going to see you on the next video.